Today's show is all about what kids do that can help you lose weight, live longer, even sleep better. If you have sleep apnea, you know how disruptive it can be when it comes to a good night's sleep. But did you know that sleep apnea can also be the reason your kids stay up all night? Have a look. Hi, Maya. How are you doing? So how has she been doing since I last saw you? She's good. Uh, she still doesn't sleep through the night. She um, and sounds like a truck driver when she sleeps. Oh, there you go. Now you're nice and big. There's no space in there. Maya has a very mild form of sleep apnea. The awakenings during the night tend to make kids more irritable during the day. Even in preschool, it actually causes difficulties for the kids to focus and concentrate on their schoolwork. Maya will wake up every night, one to two times a night. She'll cough. She'll gasp for air. She essentially stops breathing and wakes herself up. She totally wanders around the house. We find little trails of her where she's kind of gone through the house. Maya's tonsils are so enlarged that Dr. Strocker calls them kissing tonsils. They actually touch in the middle and pretty much block her throat when she's sleeping. We do want to, uh, to go ahead and treat it now instead of waiting for it to get severe. Dr. Strocker is going to remove her tonsils and she'll remove the adenoids as well. It would be really nice not to hear her gasp because that's a real frightening sound for a parent to hear. Maya, are you ready for your lollipop? Well, the decision was made for Maya to get a tonsillectomy, so let's see how the surgery went. You want me to carry you, Maya? There's many ways to do a tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy. And one of those is called a coplation. It uses a radio frequency. It only gets about 40 degrees Celsius. So there's no heat damage to your body, and therefore your recovery is that much easier. Maya's tonsils are what we call four plus. They're very enlarged, they're almost touching in the middle. So this is her right tonsil, and this is her left tonsil. Her adenoid will be up here. We'll take a look at that in a second, but I'll first remove both tonsils. And we're removing the right tonsil first. You can see with the cold lighter, there's very little bleeding. That's the right tonsil, and that's now the tonsil out. So there's her adenoid. You can see the back of her nose, the tube running through the back of her nose, and then the adenoid pad right there. All right, let me flush her out. where her tonsils were, now totally gone, her throat's now wide open, and she should start breathing a lot better. That went perfectly. She had very large tonsils that came out easily without any bleeding. She had an enlarged adenoid as well, which also came out cleanly without bleeding. It looks like she's gonna do great.